Tides, Jess Diamonds with UrgeProductions.com and Canon just released on June 2nd, 2009, a firmware upgrade to the 5D Mark II that gives us the ability to manually adjust the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed while shooting in video mode, uh, something we've been wanting for a little while. And right now I've got the ISO set at 500 that you set before you start recording, but uh, I can adjust using the thumb wheel. The aperture, right now we're at 2.8, so you can see a pretty shallow depth of field. Having a little bit of fun with uh, our subject, I put an old Nikon lens in there as well. Shallow depth of field at 2.8. Shutter speed is at 40 right now. If we dial the shutter speed with our um, where the shutter release button is, that thumb wheel, uh, usually where the index fingers. Uh, there's 30, we can dial it all the way up. There's 250 keep it down here at around 60 and we'll focus at the front of this right there at 2.8 and I'll bring the shutter or actually the aperture up so you can see the depth of field changing and what I'll do is I'll stop right now and I'll change the ISO and crank it all the way up and be right back all right so we're a little overexposed right now we're at an ISO of 6400 the max and uh, I'll keep uh, changing the, I'll put the uh, shutter speed to 100 and then I'll continue with the aperture change example. So now I'm all the way at 22 for uh, aperture and I'll take the shutter speed back down to 30 which is the lowest you can go because we shoot at 30 frames per second. And so you can see we can still get even in a cloudy day here in San Francisco just a little bit of uh, light coming in through the window. Pretty good uh, overall exposure. So again, I'll stop it and come right back. All right, now I'm back with an ISO at 400, aperture 22, so we'll dial that back down again. 18, 16, 14, 13, 11, 9, and then all the way back down to 2.8. There's that 2.8 again. So this is going to be uh, an interesting new way to work with HD video on the Canon 5D. So if you've got one, uh, so far I haven't had any problems with it. Have fun with the manual controls.